Good morning, lovers. We are in Tokyo, Japan. I'm so happy. Weather is amazing. It's cold, but not freezing cold. Um, that's why I'm already wearing my turtleneck because it's so cold even if we're inside the room. I'm of course with Maggie. Maggie, say hi. <laughs> Actually, it is already our third day here and uh, we are leaving later tonight. We've maximized our stay here. And uh, for today's agenda, we are going to Tsukiji Outer Market. Actually, the last time Miggy and I went here, we still went there. But it was late afternoon, na, so we really didn't get to try so much because the majority of the stalls were already closed. So we went there now that it's more maga para at least we get to try everything or at least madami lang choices. The precious catches of the day. I am just just getting ready. Yesterday, kasama namin si Slater at si Chris and sobrang random because we didn't plan this at all. We were already here no first day when Miggy said, Uy babe, gusto ni si Slater na nandito rin sila sa Tokyo. So yesterday, we met up. We went to Kaikaya by the sea. It's actually my first time hearing about it but they already ate there before when they went to Tokyo and ang sarap ng food. It was either an 8 course or 9 course meal and sobrang worth it nung price niya for the food that we we were eating and sobrang busog namin lahat. But overall, we really just had a great time. Later, Miggy and I drank. Of course, Chris can drink. We also went to Kif Treats in the afternoon. Nakami lang ni Miggy. And we went there again at night with Slater and Chris. Funny pa kasi naalala ko ng girl doon. Because <laughs> I was wearing like an oversized blue and green jacket. So medyo makulay ako. But yes, overall, we just went around and had a great time. And today is another day. So we are gonna go to Tsukiji Market. I'm so, so excited. And and I actually did my research. So Kiji Outer Market is just seven minutes away from our hotel. So we're currently staying at Agora Tokyo Ginza. It's really such a convenient location because when you step outside, few blocks away lang, shopping district. We love some shopping. But anyway, nowadays talaga, it's very, very important to have the internet wherever you go, even abroad. And it's really not just for posting online, but also for navigation. It's to communicate with your friends, your family. And even when you're working from here, you can always message, you know, your staff and your team members. And especially for me and Miggy, because we have Hungry Homies and Flow, we always want to make sure that we're updated pa rin, even while we're out of the country. And I want to take this time to share with you guys what I've been using the past couple of months because it is life changing and so so convenient to you so this is what I've been using the past couple of months to stay connected online this is Airalo. And for those of you guys who aren't familiar what Airalo is, it's actually an eSIM technology. So of course, better to check first if your phone is compatible with eSIM. And by doing that, you can just toggle your phone or go to their website because they actually have a list of all the phones that's compatible with Airalo. It's a super easy to use and very convenient because you don't have to keep switching SIM cards anymore and you don't need to bring any additional gadget for your internet needs. So for me, game changer Shab, because I like bringing small bags and I don't want to bring additional phones or any other gadgets with me, especially because I also bring a portable charger. So you know yung bigat sa bag ko. So if you click on their app, you see all the countries listed and they're available in more than 200 countries and regions. So for example, I went to Japan. So even before coming here, I already fixed this. So if you click on Japan, you can actually see several options. So you have a 1 gigabyte available for 7 days. You also have 2 gigabytes available for 15 days. I chose 3 gigabytes for 30 days because I'm navigating here. I'm also posting online to keep you guys updated. I am messaging my team and my staff and I also work remotely so I edit videos and I send it to my editor. So yes, 3 gig option for me is the best for 3 days here. And other pa, 5 gigabyte, 10 gigabytes, 20 gig. I've used Airalo in Hong Kong, in Japan, in Singapore, even when I went to the States and for me, it's so, so convenient. So yes, just wanted to share this with you guys. And it's also relatively cheaper compared to, let's say, if you choose an option of the daily roaming. And if your phone is eSIM compatible, I suggest you guys try it out also. And now, ang dami ko na naman chika. I am gonna finish getting ready because it's almost 10 a.m. And today is actually a Sunday, so they open at 10. I googled online because every Mondays to Saturdays, I think they open at 8 a.m. But on Sundays, they open a little bit later. Checkout is also at 11 a.m., so we're gonna try to see if we can do late checkout. Also, I have been using this shade of lipstick the past couple of days. And may mga DMs ako asking what my lip shade is. It's actually Happy Skin Lip Mallow in shade 
Fresh Brew. And then I also put this on top, the Costa Sweat Lip Oil. Pero, it's <laughs> siya. Gonna get dressed. I'm actually just putting on one more layer of sweater because it's super cold. So I think outside, when I checked this morning, it was 5 degrees, but I think it's gonna get colder. So I think now it's like 7 degrees. And then magiging 10 or 11 siya this afternoon. So double heat tech for today because my jacket isn't super thick. Also wanted to share this really, really cute burger necklace with you guys. Since we are going on a food trip, let me represent Hungry Homies. Kahit na hindi naman from Hungry Homies, but still, it's a burger. My jacket, a jacket from Shop Cider. Cute. That's what I'm wearing. Print on print. Oh, navigating. Although we are both navigating. Actually, siya talagang na navigate. <laughs> I'm not gonna take credit bida, for bida. it. Uh, he's usually the one navigating. But if na low batch siya, I lend my phone. So he helps navigate with me. Hot spot na lang. Tama. Um, but anyway, it's an eight minute walk. Freezing cold. Actually, a little overwhelming because and damning tao. So many people here. Also, I'm not sure if you researched, but I just wanna try and look around and see what we can order. Pero parang haros lahat may mga lines talaga. Kahit kung tinuray namin ni Migi last time na tamago ang haba ng pila, but Migi really wants to eat it. So I'm not to line up. Ito yung pila sa tamago. So we got the number four, which is the seafood. What's that? Is that up? I think it's not expect because it's not so long line, right? But so the theme of the vlog is that we pick up because we don't pick up from the people here. What is it? A shrimp, squid. It's really good. It's hot, so so be careful. <laughs> Yummy. King crab. Jika here. For size reference naman love. <laughs> Got a free sample at this place. <laughs> We're having mochi. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm set up. Yeah. Super good mochi. Sweets and fruits. Tagalog si ate pero nakuha niya ako sa free sample. It was really delicious and very very soft. Pero ganyan kunin with the Tagalog pero you're talking about the language of free samples. <laughs> Nasa dessert na ako. Babalikan ko yung mga yan mamaya. Actually, na-try na namin siya. Gusto ko yung nag-hover ka expecting someone to offer you another free sample. <laughs> no. No, but Lou and I tried that already. It was also very delicious. Ooh, what's that? Soup lang talaga siya. Soup lang talaga siya. Pero masarap siya. And also, I think, sa ganitong weather, any soup, I will take it. If you can really taste the seafood, I love it. Here, try it up. Next up, we are gonna try some sushi. Actually, kumain na kami ni Migi dito before and sobrang sarap. So, we're coming back to sushi, zanmai. Lagi silang puno, but they usually have a lot of branches around Tsukiji Outdoor Market also. So, mabilis siyang mahana. Oh my god, asa. Sobra sarap. That was the fatty tuna. This is one of my favorites. What is it? Sweet fry. Ooh. 
How do you like our sushi? I think out of all na we tried, Patty Tuna pa rin yung the best. As in, yun yung best sushi this trip. For sure, hands down. For some palate cleanser, I already know what I want. I ate this before. <laughs> Pero sobrang solid talaga niya. So siya. We have a fresh fruit. Na distra kami ni Migi. Ito daw muna unahin namin. We're trying that one. Try it. Tribute ko lang yung wasabi on every bite. GG. Yes. Yes. Hindi ka naman mauni. The last stop, Strawberry Mania. He wanted to try this. I know, like from the outside looking in, it looks like a bad idea. But so usually strawberry yung in order ko, but now I got the chocolate cream. It's a mix of strawberry and chocolate. back in the room we have a few minutes before checkout so we are gonna pack and bring our things downstairs but ang saya rin talaga ng Sukiji market I just highly suggest and recommend that you guys go not on a weekend kasi sobrang daming tao kanina I felt like every stall had a line or at least konting line. Basta super daming tao. And I feel like on weekdays, it's gonna be better. We did go on a Sunday because we're only here for three days. And we arrived Friday afternoon. So, medyo late afternoon na kami nakaikot. And yesterday, we had a full day. But given the chance, I would probably go back on a weekday. So, there's less people. And you get to try more food. Kasi syempre, long lines means you have to wait for a long time before your order arrives. And I feel like you're gonna get to try a lot more food when there's less people. Obviously. <laughs> but yes, you mga na try namin. Yung first one, surprisingly, really, really good. Um, hindi super long yung line, but I also feel like they already prepared the food ahead of time. Yung croquette, parang mas mabilis lang siyang i-stack up kasi medyo prepped na lahat. So, wala masyadong line, but around the area, I saw a lot of people eating the same thing. So, feeling ko, ang bilis lang ng turnaround nila. The sushi, it's always a good idea. Honestly, gusto ko pang mag-try ng ibang sushi, pero sobrang haba ng pila and we didn't have enough time. Pero yung fatty tuna, really worth a try. Strawberry Mania for me, of course, lagi. Last time I went there, I tried their ice cream na combo, strawberry and vanilla. And this time around, I ordered their mochi. I really hope that we get to visit again, kami ni Maggie, kasi we love food. And and dami pa namin hindi natatry doon. So hopefully, another vlog maybe in the future. For now, this is it. We are gonna go check out, enjoy the rest of our afternoon here around Ginza, and probably have coffee and something. But for now, we are gonna say goodbye. I hope you guys enjoy the short vlog. If you did, you know what to do. Please do not forget to leave some love, like, comment below, and most importantly, subscribe and hit that notification bell for now. Bye guys! See you on my next vlog!